everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, I wanted to discuss a very hot topic right now, which is Animal Crossing burnout. So, as most of you guys know, Animal Crossing came out in March of 2020, so it's almost been an entire year since Animal Crossing came out, and for a lot of us, we've been playing since the release of the game which is a long time to be playing one single game. With the state of the world and how things are right now, I would venture to guess that we've invested a lot more time in Animal Crossing than we have for any other game that we've played in the past. At least that's how it is for me. In such a short period of time, I've put so many hours into Animal Crossing, so I can totally understand why some people are experiencing burnout at this point, it's a lot of time to invest into a game. So I'm gonna go over some ways that I have stayed motivated and things to potentially try if you're experiencing burnout right now and you wanna to try to get back into the game. So let's just get right into it. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is trying out a new theme. So themes are definitely not something that's required when creating an island. But I know a lot of us tend to do them whether we try to or not. It's just something that we do kind of out of habit or it's just easy to fall into a pattern of creating things in a certain theme or a certain design. So for the longest time I was designing all of my islands with a cottagecore theme and while I still love that theme, I really wanted to try something different. So for me, I decided to make this cozy farming village, which also still has some cottagecore elements, but at the same time, it was kind of out of my normal comfort zone. And the challenge of creating this has really kept me interested and kept me wanting to play even more. I've been super inspired to try different designs and I really love that. So if you've been doing the same theme for a long time, maybe try to evaluate and see, is there another theme that interests you? Is there something else you could try on your island to get you back excited about playing the game and designing again? So the next thing to do is to simply take a break. It's okay to not play every day. It's okay to take several days off a week off, whatever it is, whatever time you need, you can just put down Animal Crossing, maybe try another game, play some games with friends, stuff like that. Just get your mind off of Animal Crossing for a little while. Sometimes we all just need a break and that's totally okay. So don't force yourself to play the game if you're not feeling inspired to do so. Take the time you need and then jump back into the game when you're ready. The next thing you can do if you're experiencing burnout is just to go back to your roots. When we started the game, catching fish and catching bugs was super important and one of the best parts of the game. So if you're in a rut with designing and you're feeling burnout with that, just go back to doing some fishing, catching some bugs, just enjoying playing the game, how it was intended to be played. This is something I'm super guilty of because I really spend most of my time designing, so I very rarely try to catch fish or catch bugs. So for me, just taking a few minutes to do this every now and then, it really does put me back in the mindset of wanting to decorate again. So that's just another thing that you could try if you are feeling a little bit burnout with designing specifically. Next up is trying new design styles or maybe even just trying different tips and tricks that you haven't used in the past. So for me, this was starting to use the in-game paths, which I normally wouldn't do. I normally use custom paths all over my island. So for this one, to try something different and to challenge myself, I decided I was going to use the in-game paths all over my island and see if I could make this dirt path work for me. And so far, so good. I've really been enjoying trying this. Another thing that I've been doing a lot more of 
is doing these cliff trees right here. That's just another trick that I learned honestly a long time ago and I just never implemented it on my island. So trying new things can really help to spark some creativity and really encourage you to play the game more. Next up is a little more controversial. I know a lot of us have our dreamies at this point, but you could always change up your villagers. Maybe uh, you have some villagers asking to leave. I think it's just a good way to kind of refresh your island without having to do much as far as designing. You can just let somebody go and then go and hunt for some different villagers. You can make new friends with your villagers on the island. So that is just another fun way to just experience something else in the game. If you haven't been villager hunting in a while, definitely try that out if there are some villagers that you are willing to part with. Now, if you want to go super extreme, there is always the option to completely restart your island. Now, this is something that I am going to be doing with my other island, and honestly, I'm having a little bit of hesitation, but I think I'm gonna do it. I'm going to delete Kalatara and start a new island over there. So that is something to consider if you're willing to start the game from the beginning. It's a good way to kind of relive what made us fall in love with the game in the first place. And the thought of that is exciting, also a little bit scary, and I am slightly hesitant, but if you're willing to do it, it's definitely something to consider. And lastly, I just wanted to talk about the importance of community. Now, this one can be a little bit challenging because I know everyone doesn't have Nintendo Online, and that makes it a little bit harder. If you do have Nintendo Online and you're over the age of 13, I do have a community Discord that you guys can join, and it's just fun to be able to trade with other people, play mini games, and just kind of escape the monotony of the day-to-day -day in Animal Crossing. We also play other games in there, and there are a bunch of different design challenges, all of that stuff which may encourage you to pick up Animal Crossing again. But these are all just a bunch of ideas. If you are experiencing burnout, maybe try something different that you haven't been doing, and it will help get you back into playing the game how you want to be playing it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys are experiencing Animal Crossing burnout. I am not just yet, so I'm curious to see if and when that starts to happen for me in particular. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!